we go now to the uh, verbs that ends with this even. And actually, in the last class, we talked about verb back then. And we talked about verb whose stem ends with T or D. So that means, to understand it, we now come to the verb that ends with Iren. And just normal verb, only that the way they sound, they sound so wonderful. So, and we're going to start from the verb to Diren. Say it after me. Diren. Okay, so it means to study. Well, though they are long, and they sound well, the conjugation is just not a problem, quite simple and easy. So we're going to go through this. This means to study, to dire. And then I come to the first one, to, to dire. Remember our ending? To, to diest. Ich, to dire. Du, to diest. Er, diet. Fi, diet. Es, to diet. Wir, to dire. Yes, to diet. Bis, to dire. Well, you can just see, even though it sounds special, but then uh, that's why it's uh, interesting too. And uh, the conjugation is just um, following the same uh, format that we have done under regular verbs. And then, before we go to irregular verbs, I want to let you see that this same studieren, there are some other verbs like that. And I have some of them here. Number one, we have bombardire. Simply means to bombard. Bombardire. The second one is chokire. And simply means to shock somebody. Shock somebody. And the next one is transportire. Transportire. Say it after me. Transportire. That means transport. And the next one is alamire. Alamire. To alarm. And then the next one is abonire. Abonire. That is to order. To order. Maybe newspaper. Abonire. And then this, the way we have conjugated this, the same way we are going to conjugate this other verb. So understand, we have done with leaven. And by now I expect to be able to successfully conjugate leaven. Also, reisen, to travel, to still remember. And then batten, to wait for, and then finden. There are some peculiarity with batten and then nieren, that is the verb that hence with iren, abonieren, jokieren, transportieren, alamieren, abonieren. Okay? And then the one we conjugated, here. Before we round off, we want to say a sentence or two using this verb in the present. And before I say that, I want to repeat something that we have done uh, before, and that is the present continuous tense, continuous tense that we have in English, it is not separated in German. What do I mean by that? If I say, ich dire, I am saying two things. I am saying, study, and I am saying, I am studying. So it's the context that lets the, the person you are talking to know if you are actually saying the habitual thing, or if you are talking of what you are doing present. So, is dire, for instance, simply means, I am studying. Is to dire also means, I study. Okay? So, but then let's form a sentence with this. Is to dire. And we're going to put, let's try to put courses, something that we study, that you study maybe in the university, or you just emerging that you study. Okay? Let me just start with. Uh, German, very important because we are learning German. Uh, let's imagine somebody who has studied German in the university and he will say, Ich dir, ich dir, somebody that is studying German presently in the present tense, Ich dir Deutsch. Ich dir Deutsch. I study German. Or, I am studying German. Okay, let's go on. Du, yes. On Tuesday, do yes. On Tuesday, you study French or you study French. 
Let's think of another language. A, Z, S, remember, E, she, it. So we can take one. We can be using one regularly. A, diet. Let me put another language. Yoruba. Diet. Yoruba. Studies Yoruba. Or he is studying Yoruba. Okay? And think of another one. Uh, any other language. So I want you to do it right there. You put a language here. Put the language here. And put the language here. Just put three. I have done three. I want you to do three right there. And the only thing you need to do is to check. How is that language called in German? And you just insert it in the, uh, in the spaces below. And then you'll be able to read it out. Ich studiere Deutsch. Du studierst Französisch. Er studiert Europa. And then, wir studieren. And then you mention the language. Ihr studiert. Mention the language. Sie studieren. Then you mention the language. With that, we have been able to conjugate. In the present tense, we have been able to conjugate even, heißen, warten, finden, even, the verb even, and understand. Not only this one have you, have you been able to conjugate, we have been able to conjugate all the other verbs that are related to them. And successfully, once you are able to conjugate this one successfully, you have been able to conjugate so many verbs in German. The only thing you need to do to enjoy your ability to conjugate is look for the verb after you have gotten the verb check for the meaning after you have known the meaning conjugate it in the present after you have done that use it to form some sentence and with that already follow some sentence.